In this lesson, we are going to start our virtual machine using the Windows installation ISO file. To do that, you need to have the ISO file on your host machine so that you can mount it as a DVD drive. To mount the ISO file, select your virtual machine from the VirtualBox manager, then click on the settings icon. Click on storage, then on the DVD drive. Click on the DVD icon here. Then click on choose a disk file. Browse your computer and select the Windows 10 ISO file. Now the ISO file has been mounted as a DVD drive and I can use it to boot my VM. I start my VM. I need to press a keyboard key to start from the DVD. As expected, the DVD starts the Windows 10 installation program. From here, I can start installing Windows 10 on this machine, or I can continue and enter the troubleshooting mode. But first, I'm going to change the keyboard layout to French to match my computer keyboard. I click Next. On this page, I can start installing Windows 10 right away. It's not my goal. Instead, I'm going to click on the Repair Your Computer link. Here is the troubleshooting menu. So now I can display the troubleshooting options and use them to fix my computer issues. So in this lesson, I showed you how you could enter the troubleshooting mode even if you don't have a recovery drive. But I recommend you to have on hand a recovery drive because in case your computer can't boot, you should find another one to download the installation media. And this is not always obvious, especially for individuals. If you are working on an organization, you can always find a computer you can use. But it can take you time to create the USB installation drive. As an IT support professional, you should always act quickly to reduce the downtime for the end users.